Hi, and welcome to Jerry's Engineering Corner. My name is Jerry DiBattista, and I'm the Global Vice President of Porex's Vertec PTFE Business Group. For those of you who've watched several of my videos, you will know that our Porex Vertec PTFE breathable membrane is tough, durable, and used in numerous applications in healthcare, industrial, electronics, and many, many other applications. This hydrophobic material is, is essential in so many operations of so many products out in the marketplace that you will run into it and not even know it. One question we get asked a lot is, how do I join your product to our product? So today, we will go through some common joining techniques of Porex Vertec PTFE to a finished product. So today, we're gonna to go through six common techniques. This will be ultrasonic or thermal welding, over molding, snap fit or clamping, press fit, pressure sensitive adhesive or PSAs, or glue or epoxy. The first joining technique we'll talk today about is ultrasonic or heat staking. So ultrasonic welding is probably the most common way to join Porex Vertec PTFE uh, to its host uh, uh, product. Uh, you start off with a strip or typically a roll of PTFE uh, cut to slightly larger than the width of the vent that you need. And then it goes through a piece of equipment called an ultrasonic welder. And then you get a bond to your finished product. Here's one example. And here is a second example of an ultrasonic weld to uh, a finished part. This little short video that we show will show the ultrasonic process. The next technique is over molding. This is a little bit more complicated and you will need dedicated molding equipment for this or molding tools for this. Uh, how that works, you start off uh, with a disc of Porex Vertec PTFE. This disc, disc tends to be slightly thicker uh, than our membranes, uh, about one millimeter or so. Then this disc is inserted into an injection mold uh, where, where a pin comes down and uh, uh, cuts off the flow onto the vent but actually molds around the entire vent. So you start off with a disc of uh, Porex PTFE, put it into your tool, mold around it, and then you get a permanent bond to your finished product, uh, which allows it to vent. The next technique we'll discuss is a snap fit or clamping. Uh, this is where the Porex PTFE is trapped between two parts or two halves of an enclosure. This is an example of how it's done. You take a Porex Vertec PTFE, again disc, it's put into um, the enclosure or whatever the final device is, and there's a snap ring or some other secondary feature that snaps it into place. And then once it's snapped into place, it's, uh, it's, uh, it works as perfectly as a vent. This is another example of how it may work. Again, you take a Porex Vertec PTFE disc into one half of the product, you um, insert the second half, the second half uh, then closes onto the first half, snaps into place, and you have a working vent into your enclosure. The fourth technique is what we call a press fit. Now this here uh, technique, you will require uh, some of our thicker materials, typically our three millimeter thick materials. You will have a recess or a cavity into your enclosure. Now this is typically tapered a bit so that as the part pushes in, uh, it makes a, a seal with, the, uh, uh, with the, the housing. So you take the uh, frit or the disc, press it into its place, you pushes in with a lot of force, and once it's all the way pushed in, you have a vent. The next technique is using a pressure sensitive adhesive. Now this is probably the most common way to affix Porex Vertec PTFE to its finished part. You uh, start with a disc of Porex Vertec and um, about two to three millimeters around the disc, you will have a pressure sensitive adhesive and on the inside is open. And that's where the product will vent. Uh, these come in large sizes, comes in small sizes, depends on your, uh, your device and how big you need it. 
You simply remove one of the discs. As you can see here, there is a vent hole in this product. You place it over the vent hole, press on it, and you have a waterproof vent. Very commonly used. This is a waterproof speaker. As you can see, the vent is right here, pressed into or applied into place uh, with a pressure sensitive adhesive. If you recall, the item I showed earlier, this here is a pressure sensitive adhesive disc. This is the thermally or ultrasonically welded disc. And actually the venting size is the same for these. So as you can see for the, uh, the PSA or pressure sensitive adhesive, you will require more material as that adhesive uh, needs, uh, needs to grab onto the parts. Whereas a, a permanent weld or an ultrasonic weld, uh, you don't need a lot of material because the host material actually flows into the PTFE and makes a very, very strong permanent bond. The last technique we're gonna talk about is using a glue or an epoxy uh, to affix your disc onto your part. In this technique, you start off with your, your part. Uh, you place a hole or drill a hole or whatever, put a hole into your part. It could be molded in place. Then a adhesive or an epoxy is uh, put or on or right around the ring of the hole. Then the um, PTFE disc is applied on top with slight pressure. The epoxy or glue will actually flow into the PTFE around the ring and you will have a venting surface uh, again on your device. Again, very common, you can use a high speed uh, glue applicator for this, uh, very common in the electronics and medical industries. And as you can see, waterproof seal. Product still vents. Well, I hope you found this video today useful and it shows you the amazing versatility and flexibility of our Porex Vertec PTFE in so many different applications in so many different markets. It can be used and applied so many different ways more so than, than virtually any other breathable membrane out in the marketplace. One other final note, uh, this, uh, this workshop has been a, a great place for me and you've seen quite a few videos from here. This will probably be the last video you see from this workshop as me and my family are moving to a new location. Uh, one of the nice things about the new location is that I will have a much larger workshop. So please look for my next video in probably about a month uh, from my new workshop. Well. That's it today for me, Jerry with a G. J J J Jerry with a G.